go and, and do this. Reflect upon, reflect upon your organizational practices and see, is there a connection there? Where do I need work? Where would, where would I need some work? One of the most powerful things I've seen at a school is last summer, Keith went into several schools and he helped them, the teachers, develop their own system of accountability based and w we woven around their shared moral purpose and their vision and mission. And then he helped them, the teachers, come up with their own system of accountability. And they're holding themselves accountable through their professional learning communities. They're visiting each other's classrooms and looking for kid-friendly objectives, the vocabulary, the bell work, uh, engaged learning activities. So now the principal, that frees you up a bunch to surf the building and to be in those classes a bunch. So organizational practices alone won't do this thing. You've got to have both. So let's go through this thing. Vision, mission, expectations are clearly written. I've got methods, systemat systemat systematic <laughs> methods of feedback. And then on the other side, we balance it out with good leadership, good organizational strategies, and then what's woven all throughout this thing, what holds it together is this ethical core of the leader, that the teachers believe you, that they trust you, that they know that you're authentic and that you could do this, that you're the master teacher. And then on the other side, uh, that there's a shared moral purpose throughout the entire organization. There's a text received by a teacher, my, take my class, I'm stuck in the blood pressure machine at Walgreens. <laughs> that is not a lie, by the way. All right. So what we started with was our challenges. So I'd like you to ask the question. So the challenges I have in my school, do you think that by applying some of these principles, or how do you think by applying some of these principles, some of your personal challenges of your schools might rectify themselves? Go ahead, if you want to respond to it or just write it down. What do you think? By having good leadership, good organizational practices, how will that help? 